Good morning, everyone. It's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet, and today is, I wrote it down, <laughs> February 5th, and it is Charm Chatter number 277. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm drinking coffee out of my, I'm a, I'm an amazing hooker, be jealous cup that I got from Rosie, from Rosie Nana's Stitching Lounge, who has made a couple of videos again recently, if you haven't seen them. Go check her out. I will link her. I will link her in the bottom. Let me write her down so I don't forget. Because you know me. There's no sponge left in there to absorb stuff. It just goes right through. <laughs> so today is going to be a hashtag video. Everything I'm pretty much talking about is a hashtag. Uh, so I have been working. I worked. I did. And I showed <laughs> already the um, crochet calendar from Annie's that we're doing the, you know, year long thing for. You don't, I just want to give you a reminder. Um, this month is the garland and Chloe hasn't been here to put it on her tree. So I hung it up here so y'all could see it. Uh, as a reminder, um, it should be a relatively quick project to make. And you don't have to use the pattern from the crochet calendar because a lot of people don't have the crochet calendar. But there's a lot of different, uh, you know, uh, appliques, heart applique tutorials or patterns. You can find them free everywhere. So um, just join in. It takes not very long to make. You know, I'm, I have 10 on there. Um, I, the cord is 200 chains. Very simple. So join in. And then post a picture on my Facebook group page or email me a picture. Now, the email pictures, I sometimes, I yeah, last month, I could, some of the pictures I could download to my phone and find. And some of the pictures, I don't know where the heck they went. I can't find them anywhere. Um, but I have had two entries already on my Facebook group page. Uh, and I have downloaded those pictures so that I can put them in a slideshow at the end of the month. But let me just remind you, please put in the hashtag. Uh, which is CGC, it's hashtag CGC, which stands for Charm Grammy Crochet, then the word crochet, then C-A-L for calendar, or Cal, or both, <laughs> 2022. I know it's a little bit long, but that way I can find the pictures um, easily on Facebook because, you know, it's the beginning of the month. By the end of the month, there could be a lot of posts in between. So I don't want to miss anybody's, uh, and I can easily search that way on the Facebook group or even you can search that way on, you know, YouTube and Instagram or whatever, but don't post them on Instagram because I do have an Instagram account. I have no clue how to use it. I don't even know if I can sign into it. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, for every entry that you make on uh, the Crochet Calendar, uh, CGC Crochet Cal 2022, Crochet Calendar Cal 2022, uh, you'll be entered well, not for every entry, but you get one entry. Um, and there is a prize. At the end of the month, I will draw a name, and you'll win this Karen Latte cake in red for Valentine's Day. A red button to go with it if you make it a cowl or something. And a Valentine's wine glass. So there is a little prize involved, plus you get the added benefit that you have made. The beautiful garland. Okay, so mostly I, all of that was just because, don't forget to put the hashtag in. And I did want to plug it so people remember to do it. Because I think it's fun. Okay, so that's the first thing on my list. The second thing is I am doing a Nan's Next Knots hashtag L-O-T-D-5. Luck of the draw, five. I'm making a shawl. Uh, it is a stash buster butterfly something. I don't know. It's got a really long name, but it's really pretty. And it you make hexagons. Uh, to me, they look like big flowers. In the tutorial, she's not using a worsted weight yarn. I'm using a worsted weight yarn. Mine are not the same size as hers. Um, so I might need to make more. I don't know. Um, but that that'll be fine. Uh, anyway. This is my first one. This week's number was number four. 
And for me, that is this Pale Blue by Big Twist in a soft touch color. So it's not blocked or anything. Uh, it you know, could grow, but I don't have six ways of <laughs> stretching it out. But anyway, the this is the pattern. So my with the luck of the draw, you have a basic color that you use every week. And then she picks a color. You have eight other colors besides your basic color. My basic color is white. And I'm using the Big Twist Soft Touch. So you start with your basic color. You, have, you can have that. Last time I did the, um, the Christmas blanket. And my center was also white. It was a snowflake. And I did all of them at one time, all 20. And then every week I just had to add the color the background color around it. So this time my background color is going to be whatever color she draws. I have eight other colors and well, besides this one, seven other colors, all pastel and all out of, you know, the soft touch or Karen Simply Soft, you know, kind of yarn. And it's supposed to be an 80 inch wide, 80 inches wide, 23 inches long. But mine, my squares or hexagons aren't as big as hers. So mine will be smaller than that. Or I have to add more than the, I think she had 21, plus there's a few halves at the top. Anyway, the pattern is nice, um, but like I said, I'm not doing, she used a one, Brianna K is the designer, and she used a one weight yarn and tripled it. I'm just using a worsted weight yarn um, because I wanted to make something uh, uh, pastel-y out of this yarn that I had, and that, and that was what I'm making. So that is my hashtag LOTD5. I will link Nan's Next Knots. She has all the, um, I'll link hers with all the, you know, how you do the, what you can do. But you can make anything. And um, she has a Facebook Messenger group. If you have Facebook, there's a group chat um, that Nan or Mama Swift at Mama Swift 3 Trisha can add you to and every week everybody posts what their you know their progress or not everybody but anybody that wants to and um you know we just have a little communication like uh, uh, you know it's fun it's just a little group chat that you can participate in if you want to and like I said those of us that you know like to talk about our yarn stuff <laughs> which happens to be a lot of us we post our pictures every week uh I wake Nan up every Thursday because <laughs> I'm up way before she is. And so I wake her up every Thursday morning with a cup of coffee, chat coffee, and um, wish her a good morning and say, where the heck is the video? Because I need to know what color to make when I get home. So uh, we have fun with that. And uh, you get to know each other, you know, too, through the chats. And, and so that's fun. Uh, so then my next hashtag is hashtag rock 2022 AU that I'm doing with Judy at which piece craft. Well, I'm not doing it. I'm doing it. I'm following her <laughs> and she twice a month is pulling, having her family grab an album cover from their album stash. Uh, and you, she tells you about the album or the band or whatever. And, you use the colors in the album cover to make your project or add to your project. Um, being that I like to do squares and feel like I've accomplished something every time. <laughs> I like to say, oh, see, I did this. I'm done with it. Uh, and so I fake myself out and say I'm done with it. Even when it's only one square. <laughs> I'm done with it for this week. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this week's square, I, I picked the blue out of the album cover that she uh, had. And my theory is I'm going to do whatever color from the album cover. Then I do a row of cream. This is just um, some yarn I had. It didn't even have a label on it. I don't know where it came from. This is, the cream is uh, Stitch Studio by Nicole. And so they're going to get a row of cream. And then they're going to get the square color from the previous uh, week. It's going to go on here. Um, and then I'll join them together. And I think I'm going to do a single crochet join. Um, so I want to keep them in order. So right now it's going to look like this. I do have, this is only the third week, 
but I have four squares because my, I want my blanket to be 20 by or five by five when I put the squares together. So the first month, whole long story we won't go into, I made two squares accidentally. I mean, it wasn't an accident. I did it on purpose. Um, and I had this big squares, which I really do like that, you know, how they went together. But anyway, um, this will be my 25th square. So that's just how that's going to play out. And I think I'm going to join them. I, I was thinking big twist in the cream color, which matches pretty much. I only have of the, this is what I have of the Stitch Studio. Like I already was into this skein of yarn. So I think I should have enough to do 25 outside board, you know, inside borders. But I don't think I'll have enough to do, you know, the whole thing uh, and join it. So I'm going to use Stitch Studio. No. I'm going to use Big Twist in the cream color was my thought. Uh, and when they had it on sale for $1.99, they didn't have any. So I couldn't get it. But those two colors are like really, really, really close, if not the same. So long story short, if I can get it, I'm using that. If not, I'm using something else. And I'm going to decide that probably right after this video when I look to see if they have it in stock yet. <laughs> I do have one skein of cream, but that won't give me a full border around. I mean, it'll join them, but it won't, you know. So the blanket's going to be pretty colorful and it's going to need, you know, a neutral border all the way around. That's my thought process. Tell me if you think I'm wrong on that. So then I did hashtag Amigurumi Wars 2022. Uh, Anita from Yarn Over Hook started this in January. And so she was the first host. For um, You send patterns to the host. Not, you know, uh, links to patterns to the host. Uh, there should be, I believe it's six free patterns or tutorials and two paid for patterns. Now you don't, you as the subscriber um, or me as her subscriber, I go through YouTube because <laughs> I'm not the greatest pattern reader. Um, but this time I actually also went to Yarnspirations and um, you copy the link and you email it to the host. And you say, oh, I like this one. Put this in the, for the drawing. Or in, and so she gathers for like a month or a couple of weeks or whatever. Everybody's submissions. You don't, as a subscriber, you don't have to submit six and two. You can submit one pattern. Um, just, she's going to put all the patterns. The host of the month is going to put all the patterns in a hat and draw out six different patterns that are free and two patterns that are paid. And... Then she's going on the first of the month, post a video that says, here are the patterns you get to choose from this month. You can do all the patterns or you can do one or, you know, you don't have to participate at all. That's totally up to you. Um, but there'll be eight total choices, six of which are free, two of which you pay for. For every pattern that you make, you get an entry. If you get, um, if you make a pattern that is a paid for pattern, that counts as two entries into a prize drawing that that host will do at the end of the month or the first of the next month, whatever. So <clears throat> that being said, I actually submitted this pattern um, because I thought it was so darn cute and it did get pulled. She said she had a, uh, oh, so this month, uh, Julie with Captain Stitches is the host. She said she had 85 entries, uh, 85 patterns to choose from. And she put them in a hat and she pulled out, as I said, six, I think, free and two not free, you know, two that you pay for. Uh, I know one of the paid for patterns is, uh, it was $2.12 for four amigurumis in it. And it is um, Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore, and Piglet. You got them all for $2.12. And Inya from Inya's Toy Box uh, has a dollar off coupon that you get to use. So I got all four of those for $1.12. So jump on that. I will link um, Julie and Anita with all the, you know, Anita's video with all how it works. And um, 
in your toy box when you when you click on the link in Judy's in Julie's video to go to the paid patterns it was already there and the pattern wasn't by Inya so uh, I was grateful for that I got the dollar off I got all four patterns for a buck twelve um, <coughs> I'm planning on doing Tigger but I haven't done him yet uh, what I did do was a free pattern I couldn't wait to do this one this is the love bug <laughs> I just think she is so cute it's a she because it's pink um, you could do it any color as you wanted. All of my yarn is scrap yarn. Um, and then you put the little flowers on her. Um, in the pattern, it doesn't have these little plastic beads, but I had them. And so I thought they just would fit in perfect. And I put them on. Uh, and in the pattern, they only put the word bug on the license plate. But again, I had the beads and I thought it was cute. So I put love bug. And... Um, I think they had all the hubcaps the same color, but because it's a wild child, she's, mine has them, Bessie has them all different colors. I don't think I really have the placement of the wheels in the perfect place, but I think she's adorable. And I did not put a nose because I don't like to um, embroider and there's embroider. <laughs> the mouth was enough embroidery for me. So she's got a mouth. Um, anyway, I just totally love her. I think she is so cute. And I would suggest everybody do it. There is some sewing because you have to sew in all the, you sew all of this together and you sew the, you know, flowers on. Um, these you're supposed to embroider, but I just made little tiny circles for the tail lights and sew those on. Uh, I don't like sewing on, but I like it better than embroidery because I have the hardest time making it like straight and so cup filling it all in well and stuff. And now, oh, one other thing is she is supposed to be made uh, per the pattern. Uh, you make her with Aunt Lydia's crochet thread. Um, sorry, auntie, but I am not doing crochet thread and I don't have any. So, uh, so I made it out of worsted weight, mostly worsted weight. Um, and all of this was scrap yarn except for the tires with the sparkle gold. I mean, sparkle green in them. That is, I love this yarn. I love this cotton metallic or something by, um, Hobby Lobby. And, uh, that's the only thing that was not scrap, but I wanted to put the sparkles on the tires because <laughs> I thought it would be cute and fun. And so anyway, meet Bessie. Sharon from Sharon's Co Crochet Corner named her for me. She said all cars are named Bessie. So this is Bessie and she is my first of the Amy Gurumi Wars for February. And I, like I said, I did use all scrap yarn with Bessie. One of the yarns was, uh, the blue is Azure by uh, Deborah Norville every day that I used up. So I get to put this label in my um, how much yardage labels bin, my big old canister that I'm keeping all my labels in so I can add up how much yardage I used this year to compare to last year. So uh, that there wasn't enough left of the blue to wrap around the the label anymore not all of my scrap yarns have labels but the ones that I do when it's not enough to do anything with anymore then it gets a the label gets to go in my scrap bin or my label holder so uh, the blue that's this one I love the color uh, anyway that that one's in there gets to go in my bin for yardage for the year even though I didn't use that much yardage on her I used most of that yardage last year but it didn't get counted in last year's yardage so it gets counted in this year's yardage it'll even out at the end so we went over all of my hashtags that's all the hashtags that I'm doing right now I'm still working on the January Tunisian with Jada and Stitches um, and that probably has a hashtag too. <laughs> uh, 
I'm not going to show it to you because I didn't bring it up here. And it's still the same thing. It's just a little bit bigger. I don't work on it a whole lot. Uh, and I am making a blanket, um, a, a different blanket for my great niece that's due, I think, this month. I really got to get working on that, working harder. I was apparently sleep crocheting and I made a big, huge mistake and had to pull out like this much. I put it back in yesterday, but it's like no progress to show you on that blanket because I had to rip it all out. Sleep crocheting tends to lead to mistakes. You shouldn't really do it. <laughs> I would avoid doing that. Uh, what else do I have for you? Nothing. I think that's it. That's all I have down here. I really like filming in this space. Um, I, I want to change these things around, but probably not today. I'm still, I'm still, I have one vacuum sealed bag left to unpack to put in the yarn room downstairs um, and a bin full of wool that I thought would end up up here. I think I'm going to be able to put it in downstairs. So I'm very excited about that. So up here will be uh, only the yarns that I don't, you know, the, um, I like pipsqueak, the furs, um, the pompadoodle, you know, the yarns you don't use often. Uh, those will be up here. I'm pretty sure that's like all the yarn that I, and my scrap yarn. And I'm already determined that I, for making the amigurumis, which I'll be making more amigurumis this month because there's so many cute ones. Uh, really, you ha I, I don't want to list them all because I want you to go watch Julie's uh, video and pick out what the ones you want from what you like. But uh, I will be doing Tigger uh, to give to my cousin. And um, I don't know when I'm going to start that one because there's another one I want to do that won't take as long as Tigger. <laughs> Actually, there's two I want to do that won't take as long as Tigger. Uh, <coughs> that I want to give to the baby. Um, one of them is, well, the one won't go to the baby, but the one, there's a, a mermaid amigurumi in there, and uh, I want to make that and give it to the baby because her room is going to be in baby sea creatures. So I thought that would be cute. I made um, the, the octopus last month to go with her. I was going to do the shark from last month, but I didn't get around to it. I ran out of month. And then this month has the mermaid. So I'm going to do the mermaid and the blanket. I got to get those done this month. So I don't know. Uh, and I'm going to put my wool up on my shelf. I think I have enough room for that, which <clears throat> leaves the scrap yarn to go up here. And my whip bags go up here most a lot of my whips are once a month things so get it done put it in the video leave it up here till next month so it's not clogging up the space downstairs but then I've got to organize this space and I'm not quite sure what kind of storage stuff I need for it because like I said I wasn't sure what's going up here um but maybe this weekend a lot of that'll get done definitely the yarn room should be Everything should go in there by the end of the, hopefully by the end of the day today. All that yarn will get put away. <coughs> I'm really looking forward to have, there won't be like really much organ, uh, much decorations in there. It's all pretty much going to be, there's not space for much else. Um, but I will video that room when it's complete and put that in another video for you. Uh, and then when this room is complete, it's mostly going to have, I think, the funky yarns, um, other craft items, uh, the little studio area that I have set up for filming, my scrap yarns somehow uh, stored, and giveaway stuff. Um, that's I'm like looking around. That's pretty much what's up here. My looms, um, you know, different things like that, my beads. Uh, that kind of stuff is what's going to be up here. So I'm excited to maybe, you know, get this done soon. <laughs> but I will show you uh, as things are completed. 
I want to thank you all for watching, joining, sticking around for the whole video. I appreciate that. Um, get your hashtag crochet alongs done. Uh, don't forget the, the garland. And don't forget to put the hashtags with your pictures. With any of the um, things that you post, put the hashtag so that people that are also doing it. Uh, it's so, I find, so much fun to uh, be able to just type in the hashtag and see what everybody else is making, give you different ideas, um, maybe for the next project, uh, or for, you know, oh, wow, I could do that. Like when, when I started doing luck of the draw, everybody was doing blankets, but then the next, you know, the same, pretty much the same blanket. Uh, and then Jaxie started doing, uh, from Jack, uh, creations by Jax. Oh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do, I'm not going to do a blanket. I'm going to do a shawl. And then, um, Joe from Joe's web and Anita from yarn over hook said, you know what? I want to participate, but I don't have time commitment to do a big blanket. So they did a snake. Um, oh wait, maybe, maybe it was Nikki from addicted to yarn. I think it was Nikki. Uh, did a snake so you, you know then you get the camaraderie of um, seeing what everybody else is doing and how their colors are going together and uh, brings you a good sense of community and like you're not out there all by yourself uh, if you're anything like me nobody else really crochets in the family and um, my daughter and granddaughter and of course my husband are very supportive and uh, you know they they pretend enthusiasm <laughs> even though uh, Amanda and Chloe do like to see what I am doing my husband is really good at pretending enthusiasm oh honey that's really nice <laughs> uh but they don't care when I buy yarn and they don't care what yarns I put together for a project <laughs> and they don't care how the project is really coming along unless they like it I mean when they really like it the girls particularly they're like oh I'm claiming that one <laughs> um but this gives you, you know, other people that are doing the same thing. And so it's, it's a lot of fun. All right. Uh, again. Oh, and one other thing. Um, I always read the comments and I don't know if I'm not getting them all because it'll say that I have, you know, 156 comments. But then when I go to read the comments, I, I haven't had comments for a couple of days. And I don't understand that. And this has been happening on the last couple of videos. So if I have not um, put a heart by your comment, when I went in this morning to look at comments, there were no comments. Now, my, I know my last video was three days ago. Um, I, but the video before that, and like the video before that, after a day or two, there's no more comments. And I, And then the one video... I didn't have any comments for like two days. And then all of a sudden I had like a hundred comments again. I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I don't know if there's something with YouTube or from just really on that much of a ball that I really have a ball done. <laughs> but if I, uh, as of this morning, prior to this video being uh, filmed, I had zero comments that I had not seen according to YouTube studio. So if I have not commented uh, or hearted your comment, it's because I haven't seen it. And I think there's a, there might be a glitch in the system somewhere. Um, because I do read them and I do heart them all and I do respond, uh, you know, to the ones that uh, I feel need a response or would like a response or, you know, whatever. So, um, anyway, I want you to know that I'm not ignoring the comments. If you made a comment on a video last week and there's been no response to it, I haven't seen it. I don't know where it's at. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't seen it, but it, in all the time that I've been doing YouTube, um, I've never experienced this before where there's not comments for a day or two, you know, after the video has gone up, then there's no more comments listed in YouTube studio. So I don't know if they're changing something. Um, I don't know, but I do know that the first year that we had, uh, the fairies thing, I got caught up. It was hard to get caught up on comments because there were so many at that time. Everybody's, you know, watching all those fairy videos. Uh, and then like a year later, I'm coming up with more comments from those, from that first year's fairy videos that 
I had never seen before. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? So I thought, well, gosh, maybe I never got to the end of them, and I thought I had. But now I know I'm to the end of things, and um, I don't feel like I have seen as many comments as the, each video says that I have. So um, bear with technology on that, I guess. Um, I'm doing my best. <laughs> So anyway, again, thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting, uh, and uh, joining in and all of the hashtags that you can do because that's just enjoyable. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.